welcome to another Tuesday art video with me, Angela Morbid Heart Designs. And right about now, I'm drawing up a painting. I'm actually going to paint this week for this video, and I'm really excited. Uh, before you can tell what's really going on here, I want to talk about this project a little bit. So when I was in my early 20s, like a decade plus ago, I really wanted to do this series. I actually did start to paint it and I never really got anywhere with it. It didn't look very good, but it was such a fun idea. But now that I am much better at painting and just in art in general, I decided I wanted to bring this project back to life. So about every month or so, maybe every few months, we'll see. It'll probably be depending on what other content I have set up. Um, I'm going to be doing a teddy bear that's been murdered and I hope you can see about now in this time lapse what it is and what's going on with this poor little bear. So as you can hear in my voice, I'm super super excited for this. Like it and I'm recording this after seeing the final product. Oh my god, I'm in love with my teddy bear. I want to take him home and love him and cuddle him even if he is dead because it's just so freaking adorable. Just just wait till the end when you get to see the awesome epicness that is this bear. So for this video, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, what I've learned about acrylic paint. So as you can see by what is on my desk, I am using like super cheap ass acrylic paint right now. Now, it had been so long when I got into art again that I didn't have any good acrylic paints anymore and I wasn't sure if this is where I wanted to go with my art so I decided that I'd spend a lot less money on cheap ass paint just to get a feel for it and see if it's something that I wanted to do again and I definitely do obviously it's been two years and you guys haven't seen me paint before but if you do follow my other social medias I've posted about projects that involve paint and little canvases that I do for conventions and markets and things that I vend at so the cheap paints have done done their purpose for me it was a good low budget investment to see if it's something I wanted to invest in higher end paints and I definitely do I'm looking forward to my current tubes of paint ending and dying out but I have so many it's not even funny I have a oh god how big is this bin like an 18 inch by 24 inch bin that is mostly full of two ounce bottles of paint but I've got a lot of tubes as well as I've had friends who have bought acrylic paints for projects on their own and decided that they didn't want to use them anymore and they're so sweet they gave them to me because they know I'll use them. So I definitely want to upgrade in. If, if you want to take painting seriously, I definitely recommend the higher end artist grade acrylic paints versus what I'm currently using, which are low budget craft paint. I can get the job done. I'm not saying it's terrible. The bottles in particular, I don't like like at all. The Apple Barn. Is it Apple Barn? Apple Barrel? The cheaper Apple Barrel that you can find at Joann's, and I think you can even find them at Michael's. It might be the other brand. Um, but most of these are the Apple Barrel, and I don't know what it is about this brand, but the bottles randomly decide they want to collapse on each other, and sometimes the paints separate between the liquid and the pigment, and you can't shake it and mix it up very well, and it's super watery, which at the same time can be good for your project, but isn't good for most projects, and it's really kind of super annoying. So I am so glad that I'm going to be upgrading my paints and getting different ones as these ones die out. I didn't guess I don't I didn't really spend a ton of money on this but I've got at least a hundred dollars worth of paint right now and it's the cheaper paints so to change everything out instantly it would cost quite a bit of money so it's gonna be a gradual thing but I'm, I'm very excited to make that change and see how it adds to the quality of work and the quality of blending that I can do with my paints. We'll, we'll see what happens. So there hasn't been a lot of information presented in this video, just kind of little things that I've noticed and benefit analysis and your budget are definitely important in what paint you do decide to go for for yourself. So I do hope you liked this video. I, I love my teddy bear. Like, I can't wait to see his adorable little face on stickers. I don't know if I'll do prints of him, but definitely this guy deserves to be on some stickers.
Please remember to like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I do art videos on Tuesdays and horror movie reviews on Thursdays. Please also remember to follow my social medias and from my dark heart to yours. Have a wonderful day and please don't die before my next video.